Welcome to this talk about receiver anonymity in randomizable RCSA secure crypto system for crypto 2021. I'm Yi Wang, and this is a joint work with Ru Mao Chen, Guo Ming Yang, Xin Yi Huang, Bao Shen Wang, and Moti Yang. A public key encryption consists of three algorithms for key generation, encryption, and decryption. In the message communication scenario, Suppose Alice wants to send a message M to Bob. First, Bob uses KeyGen to generate a public secret key pair, BK and SK, and sends the public key PK to Alice. Then Alice encrypts M under the PK and sends the secretized C to Bob. Finally, Bob can use the secret key SK to decrypt the secretized and obtain the message M. The C security has been widely considered as a golden security standard for public key encryption, PKE. However, it is evidence that for some practical purposes, a somewhat weaker security notion than CCA security is already sufficient. To this end, Gnati and co-authors introduced the notion of replayable CCA security. RCCA security is the same as CCA security, except that the adversary is allowed to modify a cipher test into a new one of the same plain text. So, it is a relaxation of CCA security. The relaxation in those PKE with desirable features. Brand as randomizable RCCA security is one of them. We say a PKE scheme is randomizable if there exists an efficient algorithm rerend that takes as input public key PK and the sephertized C and outputs a new sephertized C prime of same public key and uh, plain text. If the randomization does not need public key, then we say this PKE is universally randomizable. Rand RCC security turns out to have numerous applications, such as MixNet, Controlled Malleable NIZK, and uh, Cryptographic Reverse Firewall. However, for some privacy-oriented applications, Rand RCC security alone is not enough. Taking the MixNet-based anonymous communication as an example, in the MixNet, the mix node receives a batch of several tests from sender A1 to AN, and then the mix node re-randomizes them and sends them to the receiver B1 to BM. The universal randomization performed by mix node or links several tests CI and CI star in terms of contents, such that the adversary cannot correlate the sender and the receiver. However, we notice that the underlying public key of several test does not change after randomization. So, if the PKE is not receiver anonymous, that is, the adversary can obtain some information about the underlying public key from the sector test. Then, the adversary may be still be able to correlate the sector test for the same receiver. Therefore, randomizability and receiver anonymity are both required for the MixNet-based anonymous communication. It is possible to achieve both for CCA so CP, under CPA security, but it is not the case for CCA security because it permits strong adversary to query the decryption oracle. That is, the adversary can probe the system with safer test. The first perfect and universal RAND RCC PKE in the standard model was proposed by Club Hurricane and Russell Lake at Crypto 2007. We call this construction the PR scheme for short. Unfortunately, the PR scheme does not achieve receiver anonymity. And how to construct a receiver anonymous rent RCC PKE 
was left as an interesting open problem. But more surprisingly, even after many years, this open problem remains unsolved to date. The main technical challenge of achieving RCC receiver anonymity arises from the fact that the decryption oracle in the game would output replay if one of the decryption results equals to the challenge plain text M star. So the adversary can guess the bit B and the guess the bit can guess the bit B star and encrypts the challenge server test C star with PK B with PK B star and uh, curious the decryption oracle to verify its guess. If it, if it gets the B correctly, the decryption oracle would return a bot. If the otherwise, if if the adversary gets the bit B correctly, the decryption oracle would replay would return replay. Thus, to defend against this attack, it is required that the randomization of several types should not involve the public key. That is to say, universal randomization is required. However, achieving receiver anonymity is more challenging than realizing uniform universal randomization. An example is the PR scheme. It is universally randomizable but not receiver anonymous. To explain why the PR scheme does not satisfy receiver anonymity, we review the scheme briefly. A cipher test of the PR scheme is composed of four strands. The strand C1 carries the message, while the strand C2 is to help randomize C1 without public key. The encrypted mask U shared between C1 and the C2 this enables the adversary to mix together strands from two different cipher tests to obtain a valid cipher test. The, the exponent of strand C1 are perturbed by an additional vector Z to restrict the manner of recombining those two strands. Here, the blue arrows illustrate the only way to re-randomize C1 and C2. However, one can note that there is no such mask or vectors in strand C3 and C4. So those two strands can also be randomized with public keys, which means the adversary is able to guess the public key and verify its guess via curing the decryption oracle. So the partial randomizability of several types breaks the receiver anonymity of the whole scheme. To achieve RCC receiver anonymity, we have to disable the randomization of strand C3 and C4, employing the public key. Note that randomization of strand C1 and C2 is restricted by mask U and vector Z. If we also apply this technique to C3 and C4, extra strands are required to encrypt the mask in C3 and C4, which would incur the partial randomization of cipher test employing the public key again. To pass by this problem, we move the mask and additional vectors to the validity checking part. Since this part contains only one component, no additional component is appended to each strand for, perturb, for the perturbation on the validity checking part. The randomization of strand C1 and C2 is still restricted by mask U and vector Z1 and Z2. As for strands C3 and C4, their randomization is, restric is restricted by mask U and vector Z bar 1 and Z bar 2. The blue arrows illustrate the only way to re randomize several tests. Note that the several types construction of our variant still shares some similarities with that of the PR scheme. 
it is uh, essentially a double strand of cremosub sulfatized. So we plan to explore whether, whether it is possible to generalize our treatment following the cremosub paradigm. So next, we will start by recalling the cremosub paradigm based on smooth projective hash function, SPHF, and then seeks to extend the notion of SPHF to interpret our proposed variance and its security. Smooth projective hash function, SPHF, was originally proposed by Kramer and Sub for generally constructing practical CC-secure PKE. Roughly, SPHF is a family of hash functions H indexed by K that maps the element set X onto the hash value set pi. Each SPHF is associated with an NP language L, where elements in L are computationally indistinguishable from those in long language set X minus L. This is the hard subset membership problem. For any language element X in L, its hash value HSKX could be efficiently computed using either the hashing key SK or the projection key PK with the witness W to the fact that X belongs to L. Every SPHF should be smooth one, that is to say, conditioned on fixed projection key PK for any long language element X. Its hash value is statistically indistinguishable from the uniform distribution over the space pi. Some SPHFs satisfy stronger smoothness, smooth 2. That is to say, conditioned on fixed PK and the hash value of any non language element X star. For any other non language element X, its hash value is statistically indistinguishable from the uniform distribution of the space pi. The notion of SPHF could be generalized to tag SPHF, where a tag tau is also taken as an auxiliary input by hash function H, algorithms PRIV and the PUB. The regular SPHF can be regarded as a special case of tag SPHF with empty tag space. The Kramer soup paradigm is based on a smooth one SPHF I and a smooth two tag SPHF I hat. The public key is PK and PK hat, and the cipher test consists of three parts. The language element X, M times hash value H SKX, and hash value H hat SK hat X tau. Where the tag tau is the hash value of the first two parts. To make our later argument easier to follow, uh, below we first provide an overview of justification of CC security for SPHF. Considering the challenge cipher test zeta star in the CC security game, namely game zero. In game one, Due to the hardness of subset membership problem, we can replace the language element x star with non-language element and compute pi star and pi hat star using the hashing key. In game 2, the decryption oracle also, reject, also re rejects all the all the bad cipher test with long language element X by the smooth 2 property of SPHF I hat. In game 3, we can replace pi star with random hash value from set pi by the smooth 1 property of SPHF I. Now, the challenge cipher test zeta star perfectly hides MB, which yields the CCA security. Following the idea of Grimace paradigm, we also can interpret our construction from SPHFs. Taking strands C1 and C2 as example, 
They can be generalized using three different SBHFs. The BX and the BY are the hash values of X and Y on same hash function H. The validity checking parts of C1 and C2 are the hash values of X and Y on the two different hash functions H hat and H tilde. Well, the H tilde can be viewed as a special case of H hat with vectors z1 and z2 equals to zero. Now, from the per perspective of SPHF, the sephitized randomization can be regarded as the randomization of hash values. Meanwhile, one can note that there are two kinds of randomization, the self one within same SPHF and the pairwise one between different SPHFs. Mot motivated by those observations, we output we put forward the notion of randomizable SPHF, RESPHF, which is a regular SPHF augmented with self and pairwise randomizability. Based on the typical definition of SPHF, we formalize three extra algorithms, namely rand X, rand T, and the rand H to capture both cases of randomization. Let's say RXX denote the set of all randomization of X obtained via rand X. Say RX, X prime denote the set of all randomization of X obtained via rand X with X prime and CRT tau denotes the set of all randomization of tau obtained via rand T. Similar to the classification of randomization, we redefine two types of smoothness for RESPHF as below. The controlled self-randomizable smoothness says that conditioned on fixed PK and the hash value for any non-language element X star and any tag tau star for any non-language element X and the tag tau the hash value is statistically indistinguishable from the uniform distribution over the space pi. It is required that the x does not belong to CRX x star or tau does not belong to CRT tau star. The controlled pairwise randomizable smoothness says that conditioned on fixed PK hat the hash value h hat h hat h hat, uh, h hat sk hat x1 star tau star h tilde sk tilde x2 star tau star for any long language element x and the tag tau the hash value is statistically indistinguishable from the uniform distribution over the space pi pi hat also, it is required that the x does not belong to CRX x1 star, x2 star, or the tau does not belong to CRT tau star. Meanwhile, we also define two new smoothness. SD smooth one means that condition on fixed PK for two random non-language elements x1 and x2 and uh, Random tag tau, their hash value are uniformly distributed over the space pi. The pairwise twin one smooth means that conditioned on fixed PK for two random non-language elements x1 and x2 and the random tag tau, their hash values are uniformly distributed over the space pi hat and the pi tilde respectively. So our construction is based on six different RESPHFs. We now show how to realize RCC security and the receiver anonymity with those new smoothness. Similar to the security justification of criminal sub paradigm, we provide the argument to justify the RCC security of our variants. Let game zero be the RCC security game. In game one, due to the hardness of subset membership, prob mem membership problems, 
we replace all the language elements in challenge cipher test zeta star with non-language elements. In game two, by the CSR and the CPR smooth, the decryption oracle also rejects all the bad cipher tests. That is, the oracle would not reveal more information about the secret key. In game three, by the SD and the PT smooth one, we replace all the hash values in challenge cipher test with random ones. Now, the Zeta star perfectly hides MB and the RCC security of our construction holds. The justification for receiver anonymity is indeed similar to above argument. In particular, the decryption oracle also relies on CSR and CPR smooth properties to reject all the bad cipher tests. In the end, the uniform distribution of all the hash values in Zeta star imply the receiver anonymity in RCCA setting. In this table, we compare our scheme with previous works. Besides our exclusive property of receiver anonymity, compare with the recent work of Fal Falnil and Colossus. Also, our two-linear-based two -linear instantiation is based on special groups which are larger than a regular setting, but it does not involve any pairing computations. So, in this work, we provide the first receiver anonymous rent RCCA PKE and resolve the open problem. Then, we designed a modular framework for constructing receiver anonymous rent RCCA PKE via our newly extended SPHF, RESPHF, and rigorously prove its RCC security and receiver anonymity. Finally, we instantiated the framework with k-linear assumption and the grid ring, and improves the PR scheme with more general hardness assumption. Okay, that's all. Thank you.